Hey everybody, I'm Aaliyah and I'm growing to Ghana. Summer 2018 through Howard University's ASB Ghana program. So a few things about myself. I'm 20 years old. I'm a third year undergraduate student and I go to school in Long Beach, California. So um, I have a unique experience that I'm blessed to be able to go with Howard University and Dr. Booker and Ms. Montgomery and everybody on the team so that um, because I don't go to Howard, I have, um, through connections, been given this opportunity to go with two of my really, really good friends, and we were definitely so excited to go and just be in the continent and learn from it, grow from it, and just see what we can do to help it. That's what I'm mostly excited for, and that's what I'm going. I want to see what I can do. What can I do for God? Not just what God can do for me, because I'm sure it will change my life. So I call this series Growing to Ghana because I look at life through stages of growth, right? So I definitely feel like this will be um, a stepping stone to who I am, who I will be, and it'll definitely help me in my life, help me in my growth process, my growth period as a young African-American woman, young black woman, someone a part of the African diaspora, and just learning more of that, like being prideful in that, and knowing who I am. I've always grown up being um, strong in my blackness. My parents always taught me to be proud of who I was as a black person, and um, to learn that, you know, through those classes that I've been taking, um, through video chat um, with Dr. Booker and Howard University, like I am African person. I am, you know, I'm not from the continent myself or my parents, but I am a descendant of who you are. I'm a part of the African diaspora, so I want to be proud of who I am as an African person, as a, someone who is a descendant of Africa. So I am just so excited and so ready. I feel like um, we've been prepared in so many different ways um, through taking the classes, through different TED Talks, reading my Angelou all God's children as traveling shoes, and just different pieces of work that have prepared us, that will prepare us. Um, and one thing that I've been doing to prepare myself, um, I looked back at one of my family books. I went looking for it, looking for it, and it's a book, and it shows my genealogy on my maternal side, and it talks about the first slave that got here. It goes all the way back, and um, she apparently was lured with a red cloth. Someone lured her to and capture her while she was in her home on the continent, like in the continent, in her home, in her village. And um, she was later sold in New Orleans. And I always think of Maya Angelou, um, so I rise, and she has a part that says, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. And I always think about my ancestors living through me. I am going to the continent. I will be going back to where we originate. And I just know that I'm sure that you know, they have thought about, they dreamed about being able to go back. You know, at some point, I don't know exactly where I'm from, but I know I will be in the continent. And to know that Ghana is one of the major ports that so many slaves, almost all slaves, had to go through before they went out of Africa is just, um, we have places like dungeons, and it's just like learning that history and learning that that history is in Ghana is something that I am just so ready for you know and it's not like always going to be a, i know a happy experience but it definitely be a learning experience you know um this is something that i feel will help me definitely help me as an african-american woman figure out who i am growing and learning and just being in touch with who i am as someone who is a part of the african diaspora and um like i said i'm so excited i'm just trying to figure out what Ghana can do for me? What can I do for Ghana? What can I do for the continent? Who am I and what can I do to help? Um, so to be able to do service and to go for educational purposes is just honestly a blessing in itself. Um, I know I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. I wanted to study abroad. I knew I did. And it's just to be able to go to Ghana, to go to the continent and be connected to a part of myself that I feel like you know, have, I've been stripped from, like many other black Americans have been. They don't really have a connection to Africa. We've been so far, you know, from Africa and just the way that 
we are told to view Africa, it's by design that we are not connected to Africa. So it's just something that I'm just looking forward to for my life and just like what I can do to help. And um, yeah, so like I said, this is a three part series of me growing in Ghana, I guess, going to Ghana. And um, so for this is the first one, my introduction, my second one, I'll be talking about where I'm at in terms of time and preparation. And my third one will be either me in Ghana or me after I go and just like how I feel, where I'm at. And um, I'm just so ready to establish a sense of community with the people I'm going with at Howard University and just be there and just learn from it and grow from it and learn from it. So I am so ready. I cannot wait. And you will see me soon when I talk about where I'm at in my second part. Okay, we'll see you soon. Peace and joy.